All right, let's talk about Stacy Campbell for just a second. Yeah. Uh, did y'all did y'all follow my feud with him? Yeah. Do you know it continue? It's still continuing thanks to Jonathan here. Jonathan yeah. Peterson. But y'all did y'all read my interview in the Examiner yesterday that Jonathan? Yeah. All right, so I, so he asked me about my feud with your wonderful honorable senator, who by the way is from New York. He's from New York. Yeah. Okay, on, buddy. this single 42-year-old red-headed stepchild of Tennessee <laughs> sent me 40 Facebook messages total. 40 that I engaged back and forth trying to debate him. He would not settle on a date. He, he asked me for $1,000, $1,000 to debate him, which is an ethics violation. Um, there were some a gays in Tennessee who got involved and they have filed a complaint against him. So I'm hoping desperately to come back and testify. And as I said in my interview, I'm going to walk in very loud and turn. I'm going to walk into that courtroom and I'm going to testify against that fucker. So yes, so yesterday I I said this. Now he he finally stopped writing me when a fan wrote me and said, "Ask him about Lance." Okay, so I did. I, he, wrote, he wrote me and he said, you are a loser. He, he's so, so senatorial. I mean, he, ha, 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 you know, Dell's a loser, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and he, he, he cannot spell. He can't spell. He cannot compose a sentence. I mean, this is who somebody elected to the Senate of Tennessee. At Knoxville, the Knoxville folks. I know. Well, we're going to talk about that because I've made a challenge to that fucker. All right. So, anyway, so all of this played out. I finally wrote him and I said, Senator Campbell, tell me about Lance. I would like to know more about Lance. And I never heard from him again. Never. Until I started doing interviews in Tennessee. And he must love me. I think he has a little crush on me because he, he follows me on Facebook and he follows all of my interviews. And yesterday, he wrote a comment on Jonathan's article. And I brought it tonight. So I'm going to read it to you. And I also responded to him. This is what he wrote. Sorry, Lil Bell isn't telling the truth. I agreed to his debate, time, date, location, retainer, not a violation, by the way, and other demands that he made. When push came, came to shove, Dell chickened out time after time. It's all bullshit. I published every single letter that we wrote back and forth. It was, no, it, it was excuse after excuse. It's like, this is called projection, folks. All right? I don't know what he is talking about with Lance. By the way, I responded to his emails I was responding to his emails to me, not the other way around. Asked to see all the emails. You will see who has chicken feathers. It's like we're in fifth grade. We, we are. Me and the senator, we're in fifth grade. Except I use dirty words and he doesn't. Okay. This is what I wrote to him today. It's on your blog. I mean, your, your, what is your column. Oh, senator, you continue to have diarrhea of the mouth. I've released all the many messages from you to me and vice versa, which prove you are a big, fat liar, juvenile, and very non cinder like in behavior, and borderline uneducated when it comes to grammar and sentence structure. <laughs> the debate is still a challenge, and it is now on the table. I'll tell you what, Campy. I like to call him Campy. That's the relationship we have now. Tell you what, Campy, show up at my show at Club XYZ in Knoxville on July 4th at 9.30. You will be on my guest list. At the beginning of my show, if you have the balls to show up, I will present you with $1,000 in cash. We will grab our date books and hash out details of a debate. A date, a moderator, etc. You will sign a deal in writing, which you have refused to do so far. Sorry, I don't trust politicians. Go figure. <laughs> and make this debate official, releasing it to the public and press. I will then return to Knoxville on the agreed day and debate you for charity. You get your money like a good Republican, 
And like a good gay Democrat, I will give the proceeds of the debate to the Tennessee Equality Project and Glisten Middle Tennessee chapter. Meanwhile, readers, notice how the honorable, and I put that in quotes because I didn't mean it, Senator Campbell continues to be obsessed with this gay man literally stalking my fan book, my fan page on Facebook, my interviews on the internet, focusing on idiotic, hateful bills like SB 49, Don't Say Gay, while Tennessee ranks number 40 in the country in education, only 10 states are below Tennessee, is ranked 8th in highest crime rate, is ranked number 40 in unemployment, only 10 states more unemployed, and consistently ranks in the top 15 of foreclosures, yet Campville is obsessed with homosexuals and spends his time online, on Facebook, obsessed with me and the gay community. Mm. I want that out. Mm. So be at my show to collect your $1,000 or send a re representative on your behalf Schedule the debate or shut the fuck up. <laughs> Del Shores, 